Hi there! Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to import your WooCommerce products and variations using WP Ultimate CSV Importer Pro plugin with one CSV file. Before we begin, make sure you have your import file ready. I've already prepared mine, so let's take a quick look at it. This file contains variable products. You can also add other product types in the same file, but for variable products, you need to provide both the parent product and its child product variations. Here's the structure. The first row is the field headers and the second row is the parent product and the remaining three rows are child variations. I've included key columns like post title, which is the product name, and other important fields like post content, post excerpt, post date, post name, post author, post status, product SKUs, and featured image, the product image. All right, next we have the product attributes fields. If you're using WP Ultimate CSV Importer Pro version 8.0 or later, here's some good news. You don't need to deal with multiple files anymore for importing products and variations. And no more cramming all your attributes into a single cell and separating them with those pipeline symbols. We've made things a lot easier for you. It's way simpler now. You can import products and variations in a single file. Let's see how to include values for attribute fields. I have two product attributes, color and size. Each attribute has its name, value, and visibility. You can see I have included fields, product attribute name one, product attribute value one, product attribute visible one, product attribute name two, product attribute value two, and product attribute visible two. I have given the product attribute name 1 as color and attribute name 2 as size. And I have specified the colors value as blue, green, red, and black, and sizes value as small, medium, large, XL. The visibility is set to 1 for enable. These are the values I have provided in my parent record. For child variations, I only need to specify one value for each attribute which is from the parent. Also, don't forget to set the product type as 4 for the parent and 8 for the variations. I've also included the visibility, tax status, and tax class. If you're managing stocks, provide yes and mention the stock values and status in separate fields. Then I have included other fields like regular price, sale price, menu order, comment status, weight, length, width, height, sale price from date, sale price to date, sold individually value with back orders and parent relation field. If the products are sold individually, mention yes. To enable back orders, provide the value 1. At last, in the parent field, I have included the parent record SKU value for the variation products. Okay. All set now. Now let's jump into the import process. Install and activate the WP Ultimate CSV Importer Pro plugin. Then head to the import slash update section. You can upload files using any of these locations. To upload from the desktop, click Browse, select the prepared CSV file, and click Open.
the file will be uploaded. Here choose Fresh Import if you're adding new records or choose Update Content if you're updating existing ones. Select WooCommerce Product as the content type from the drop-down and click Continue. Next, you'll need to map the CSV fields to the corresponding WordPress fields. Here the fields are auto-mapped by default if the file header names are the same as the WordPress field headers. Otherwise, you need to map it on your own by using the drop-down method or drag and drop mode. In the advanced mode, you can see a field called header manipulation from the drop-down. Choosing this option will allow you to perform the actions here. The plus icon symbolizes the field values concatenation. This will be useful if you want to import two field values in the same field. The next formula icon is used for performing math calculations. For example, if you're offering discounts for products, you can calculate the total value based on the discounts by entering the formulas here. The next one is custom functions, which is absolutely useful when you want to alter the data import. For example, changing the string values. Next is the OpenAI field, which is provided for specific content fields and is extremely useful to auto-generate content while importing based on the prompts provided in a field within the provided character limit. To learn more about these functions, visit the links in the description. If you scroll down, you can see a separate widget for mapping the product attribute fields. It shows three fields inside the Productive 1 attribute section, which has fields like Product Attribute Name 1, Product Attribute Value 1, and Product Attribute Visible 1. Map the file headers from the dropdown. If you want to add more attribute sections like this, just click the Add button. You can also delete the sections by clicking on the delete icon. I have two attributes, color and size, so I keep two sections. Make sure to map all the fields in this widget as it's necessary to import your attributes and variations for the product. Once the mapping is complete, save the template with a unique name. For example, WooVariations in file. Next, configure the Feature Media Handling section to handle the image duplicates. Choose Use Media Images if already available to use existing images. Or choose Overwrite the available images to update images. Or choose the Always Create as New Image option to create a new image. This option is useful for downloading images in your post content to WordPress media. Configure the import settings like Enable Rollback and Maintenance Mode.
Enable the Do you want to handle the duplicate on existing records option and choose a field from the option to handle duplicates based on that field. If any duplicates are found, the records will be skipped to import. You can also configure schedule options, just provide the date, frequency, time zone, and time. Click the Schedule button. The import will be scheduled. Otherwise, to proceed with Prompt Import, click the Import button. The import will be completed in a few minutes. Verify the results by checking with downloading the Summary Log CSV. or close the window and check the import status for each record without leaving the screen. You can also check with the admin or front-end screen of the record. or directly visit the products page to see the results. And that's it. 
This is how you import WooCommerce products and variations using just one CSV file with WP Ultimate CSV Importer. Hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.